graphene and 2D materials are major topics right now worldwide. Mm -hmm. and, it, and they are also an important research topic in South Korea, in sure. your research mm -hmm. center, mm -hmm. in the Center for Integrated Nanostructure Physics. That's right. Um, what, why do, did you choose this field of research? Uh, graphene um, itself is uh, perfectly uh, 2D material in atomic uh, layer thickness and uh, shows this fascinating electronic uh, structure behavior. For instance, uh, highest mobility ever found in the material, right? But unfortunately, you know, Korea is uh, strongly focusing on the semiconductor industry. That means we need a semiconducting material. But unfortunately, although graphene has a high mobility, it's uh, simply metallic. We cannot use graphene for semiconducting material. So that was the strong motivation to introduce semiconducting 2D layered materials. Uh, in order to fabricate the device, uh, we need an uh, insulating material, again, two dimensional, which is uh, hexagonal boron nitride. So if you combine all together, you can get actually the best performance devices. And this is what we have been working on. And this is what uh, Korea also is focusing on mm -hmm. from 2D material point of view. This is one uh, very big target. And how are the relationships with the companies that are interested in putting this basic research into particular applications? Right. Uh, I mean, let's just uh, take an example of Samsung. Uh, Samsung is very much in, interested in developing all these 2D materials, for instance. They have a very strong 2D material team. They are shrinking down the size of the devices and they are facing many issues. And also the future technology, for instance, is uh, flexible, transparent, even uh, stretchable devices. The, 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 the current uh, material like silicon cannot uh, meet all these uh, technical requirements. So, and graphene uh, demonstrated already a big uh, breakthrough, which has all these properties, transparent, flexible, even stretchable. Of course, uh, the only concern that graphene itself uh, cannot uh, represent the semiconducting material. So, uh, our hope is that uh, we can combine all these uh, 2D uh, materials that shows this uh, semiconducting behavior but it has a drawback of uh, low mobility, so we can combine this graphene and 2D materials to make the best high mobility and high owner of uh, ratio. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole target. So uh, from, from Europe, we see this uh, huge investment in the center that you direct. Uh, into a specific uh, a research area, sure. like a, a wonder, right? A, a good uh, policy into getting things things done. How do you see from your side? Well, I mean, it's uh, the whole idea is driven by the government. So, I mean, so far, uh, Korean industry has uh, led the, uh, the world, uh, you know, with uh, many high-tech uh, materials and uh, technology. But uh, they are facing the limit of this uh, current approach. And there is no one uh, who can say, oh, we can uh, be a leader in 10 years in this uh, research and in this uh, technology area. There's no one. And we are very skeptical on that. And uh, so the uh, government uh, see this uh, future is not very optimistic unless you have some new technology. Now, how do you develop this new technology? Of course, that. I mean, you can do many things, but one way is to foster the basic science in, in Korea so that this basic uh, science uh, can be a sort of, uh, can uh, generate sort of disruptive, uh, disruptive technology for industry in the future, not now. Mm -hmm. So it's a sort of long-term investment uh, driven by the government, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Huge amount of money, like uh, $10 million per year for each center and we are actually working on 2D material so I'm, I'm trying to work on this basic science but try to see the future with the current uh, basic science how do you implement this uh, basic concept basic science to, to technical uh, stuff
I've been told that you write 40 papers a year, more or less. Well, yeah, sure. How do you get things on? <laughs> well, this is, uh, <laughs> I think uh, this is the tradition of uh, Korean society. It's, uh, of course, I'm sort of exceptional. <laughs> I mean, I'm working hard. I mean, maybe to you it looks crazy because I stay always the late night. <laughs> but uh, you like it. I mean, uh, some people call me workaholic, <laughs> but I don't think so. I like it. Uh, I mean, I can always take a break if I want to, right? <laughs> so I'm not really workaholic in this sense. <laughs> so I have my own hobby too. But uh, you have to work on because you have many students and many postdocs. So unless uh, you are heavily involved in the research, you have, there's no fun. I mean, as an administrator, I have no fun at all. So I don't spend much time on the administration, but rather focus on the science, discussing with uh, students, setting up, setting up the problems, you know, try to get a new idea, and then write down together with the students and postdocs. Perfect. I enjoy it. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, thank you very much. Okay. And a very nice, a ple very pleasant talk. Oh, thank you. This is it? <laughs> yes, that's okay. it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <Well, laughs> good, good. Very good. Nice. <laughs>